Hey guys, sorry that this is my first entry of the day. Um, it is probably just gone two o'clock in the afternoon. I've just, huh, lipstick on my teeth. I've just finished work. Um, my vertigo, I do actually believe that it is vertigo now, is quite severe. So this morning when I woke up, um, I felt absolutely fine. I think that's because I had been like laying flat in my bed all night, like undisturbed sleep as well. Um, and then when I got into work, I was just, I just sat down and I was like, whoa. So yeah, um, I've spoken to a few customers about it and like, um, one lady said that she's had it several times and that like, I, um, she had it like really badly and it turned out that she had low blood pressure. Um, rewind a month ago when I had my operation, they said that I had quite low blood pressure and asked me if that was particularly normal. Um, I remember through the duration of my pregnancy um, that my blood pressure was fine, but more on the lower side, it was like manageable and stuff like that. Um, and I think that this could be a contributing factor to the vertigo that I'm having. Um, and then also another lady said that, um, a lot of people have said that there's like an imbalance in my ears, which um, I don't really understand at the moment because I haven't got a cold or anything like that. So, but maybe there's something going on inside my ears that I don't really know about. And then um, another lady said that I could have like an iron deficiency, which could be true. I find it really hard to deal with the fact that I would have an iron deficiency purely for the amount of vegetables that I eat. Like um, people that like know me and know how I eat with regards to following the Weight Watchers plan um, would find also find it hard to believe if I had like an iron deficiency just because the amount of vegetables going in but obviously my body doesn't have that capability to absorb that iron and process it into my blood then is basically what it is so I'm obviously lacking something else which I think you need vitamin D to be able to absorb iron into your blood so this is like getting a bit too you know extreme and like turning into a biology lesson but um that that could be a factor as well because when I had my um I went to give blood one time but it wasn't long after I'd just been uh, had Holly I was still breastfeeding and dieting at the same time etc um and I couldn't donate blood that particular time because there wasn't enough iron in my blood but then I've donated blood since and my iron count has been fine so Maybe it's just like one of those blips. I haven't been eating very well for the last month, I would say, since my operation. I've been eating a lot of junk food. Um, so that could be a contributing factor. So I am off to Aldi's now. I'm going to literally sit here and eat some grapes because I haven't had any lunch. And then I'm going to go to Aldi's and do a food shop because I haven't got anything in my freezer or my fridge. So obviously, I've been away for a couple of weeks. So yeah. That's my three and a half minute ramble over and done with about my vertigo. So, but other than that, I don't actually feel ill. I feel I feel a bit like, oh, I wish this feeling would like go away. And I'm actually wondering if I visibly look like I'm going like this. So, but I don't think I am. I think that's just in my head, but it does feel a bit odd. So Monday, if it's still here on Monday, I think I'm just definitely gonna go to the doctors first thing in the morning because that needs to be done ASAP. So yeah, I shall see you all when I get home, probably. Morning guys. So sorry that this has turned into like a two day vlog, but Ew, lipstick on my chin. I haven't really been feeling it. Like I've been to work yesterday, got a horrific vertigo. Went and did my food shop yesterday, dropped my neighbour down to wherever he needed to go. And then I came home, had some dinner, painted my nails, and then sat on the sofa, watched X Factor and fell asleep. <laughs> so this morning I've woken up and I felt great, didn't have any vertigo, but now it's just kicked back in again. So definitely doctors tomorrow morning for sure. Um, I've been speaking to my friend on the phone for like two hours last night about this and that and the other. And she mentioned that the vertigo could be caused by a virus because that was going around like a year ago, maybe. So could be that. So this morning I have 
filmed a very short video that's going to be part of a collaboration with um, a beautiful lady called Claire and her channel is The Claire Necessities. Um, she also has a vlog channel called Square Pear Ground Hole, I think. I'm sorry if that's incorrect. But yeah, so I've done that. Um, I've been meaning to do it for absolutely ages, like over a month now and never got around to do it again because I haven't really been feeling it. Like I should have filmed like a favourites video, monthly favourites. Can't just can't get around to it. I need to film. Today I really should film um my one month boob update. So I probably will sit down and maybe do that this afternoon when the sun moves around to the back of the house to give me some better lighting. Um but yeah, other than that, I've done like loads of unpacking. There were loads of bags down there last night, which I've unpacked and put away. Um, before I went on holiday, I was like rotating Holly's clothes and stuff like that. So that's all like summer stuff that doesn't really fit her anymore that I'm going to have to give away to charity or to whomever. Um, but yeah, haven't even made my bed. Um, I'm still in my pajamas. I've got like a top on underneath there, some makeup on and stuff. But I'm literally just gonna go and sit down now, um, eat the rest of my apple, have a cup of tea, watch some Breaking Bad, and then maybe have some lunch. It's like 20 to 12 already, and I haven't really done a lot. But I managed to have a lay-in today. Body clock woke me up at about half past six, but I rolled over and managed to sleep until about half past nine. So it's not too bad, not too bad. But yeah, it's just little things that I need to get organized before Holly comes home now, so. <sighs> Lots of clothes that I need to fold and put away. Jesus, my neighbour is cleaning the window. <laughs> Let me just show you. Do, do, do. Can you see him? He's in the window. No, you can't see him because it's too bright. <laughs> Fucking shit myself. <laughs> see, I want you to be able to see him. Why can't you see him? He's there somewhere. No, it's not showing you. That's annoying. But anyway. I shall see you later. Okay, so fast forward until half past one in the morning, on Monday morning, and I have just finished watching series one of uh, Prison Break. Oh my god. Why didn't I watch this when it first came out? Oh my god. I've literally just been watching it all day, which makes me sound like I've done nothing. I've actually done quite a lot today. I've done like loads of washing, more unpacking, Holly's come home, dinner bath, bed. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait to start series two. And like series two episode one was literally just about to start playing and I was like, I have to go to bed. So I've got to go to the doctors in the morning because of all this like vertigo and stuff. So. Sorry it's been a boring weekend vloggy for you, but I've just got back from holiday and I've not really wanted to do anything interesting, so that would be why. Anyway, I shall see you all tomorrow. Bye!